and you're bowling on a budget. It makes it blend with the hardscape of the pond. So let's plug it in and I'll show you exactly how it works. Stay tuned, this video is for you. The kids are doing great. Hey, look at that gunk. Aloha, my ohana. Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, the Hawaiian Fish Keeper. Now, I don't know if you guys heard the latest news, but here in California, another 30 days. We are in quarantine. Lucky us. Well, I guess lucky you guys, right? I mean, I get to put out more content for you guys here at The Nest. Let me know down in the comments, first off, how you guys are doing. Is everybody safe and healthy? And second off, if you guys are loving the content here at the house. Now, I noticed there's been a group of you guys down in the comments wanting to see my filtration system on Tiki Falls. I have a total of four filters on Tiki Falls. I'm gonna show you guys one of the filters that I use, and it's really inexpensive. It'll cost you about 45, no more than $50 uh, to put a filtration on a pond. So it's real simple, real easy to do. A lot of the material you'll get from Home Depot. So if there's a Home Depot near you, stay tuned. This video is for you. DIY pond filter. Let's get into it. All right, here is Tiki Falls. As you can see, all the kids are doing great. They're out and about because they think I'm going to feed them, uh, but I'm not. We're just going to do this video on the filtration. You can see one of the waterfalls here at the top. We got the waterfall spillway there. And this section, we have another waterfall spillway. Now you can see the cover is gone on that. The reason why it's gone is because I'm gonna show you exactly what I do for my filtration. So as you can see, I added like this nice little piece of wood there with this little log here, just to hide the waterfall spillway. You kind of want to make it blend, you know, you don't want to see this like gaudy plastic thing, you know, so you kind of make it blend with the hardscape. But let's go around to the back side so you guys get a better idea on exactly what I use for filtration. So here it is, all right? Let me shut off the filter. Now that we got the waterfall spillway turned off, we can kind of go through and see what I got. Bag of media. This bag consists of fluval bio and some SBG, which is the super biogravel right there. You can see it. So what I do is I rinse this off, okay? In this bucket, I'm gonna set it right there on the rock. Now this bucket is pond water. I'm gonna show you what this is. This, we can just throw away. Look at that gunk. What this was is polyfill. Yeah, so you can see how nasty it is. But what I like to do with this is I like to grab this and stick it right under a plant there and let the plant benefit from all that nitrate water. So here is our sponge at the bottom here. We're gonna pull out our sponge and you can see the bottom of the filter. That's pretty much it. That's how it's ran. You can see our sponge, how gnarly it is. We're gonna go ahead and just rinse it out inside this bucket. This is probably about maybe three months, guys. Three months of not even messing with this uh, filter at all. Uh, so you don't have to do like a lot of maintenance on this uh, waterfall spillway filter that I made. Okay, so as you can see, this foam here is a macro pour. You can see it, it's not fine like a micro pour. This is a macro pour. That's really important that you use it. And you can actually see how thick it is. This is probably about an inch thick, inch and a quarter maybe, inch and a half. Look at that nasty water, huh? As you can see, the sponge looks a lot better. So at the bottom here, let me show you guys. This little component here, the water comes out from here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture and show it to you guys. It's a waterfall spillway from Home Depot. It costs about $25 and some change, give or take a couple dollars depending on where you live. And it pretty much comes just like this. That's it, it's simple. Nothing inside it, it's pretty much empty. The water comes through your hose, drops from the bottom here, fills up, and then goes over this waterfall spillway. Now, here is where we pack everything. Okay, so there's a couple ways we can do this. We can actually put this sponge back the way it was, just like this. It runs all the way down to the bottom. This is exactly how I cut this foam. Okay, so it fits perfect. The water drains here at the bottom. It kind of goes through this sponge, and then it rises up, which I actually throw the polyfill which is a different style of polyfill. It's just two small thin slices, and I'll show you exactly what type I use. And we put that right there on top. Kind of holds everything in place. Now, like I said, there's a couple ways of doing it. You can actually put this here. Let me get this out of here. You can put your media here on the spillway, your sponge here at the bottom. 
you can actually sit it upright like this, right? Because the water comes out of this at the bottom. So I, you can put the sponge like this, polisher like that, and then you can actually set your media like that. And the water will just kind of run through it, right? Because you want your water as clean as possible before it hits your media. So this is another way to set up uh, this style of spillway, okay? But I like it this way because it's been working for me this way. So I just kind of cut it to make it fit. We're gonna grab our polyfill and wrap it like this. Tuck it in all the little corners. And then we take our bag of media and set it right there on top. Now, if I had more media, I can set another bag on top and that way it works. So let's plug it in and I'll show you exactly how it works. You can see a nice little water flow. Nothing's being held back. What I like to do is get this all wet. Kind of weighs itself down. Now, if you put micro pour foam in here, this water level will rise and it'll start to overflow. Okay, if it overflows, you can see I have rubber liner that's actually kind of like cupped and it forces the water back down into the falls. So I'm not gonna get water leaking outside. That's super important too when you do something like this. So now that this is all soaked up, you can see the water level is really low, nice flow and uh, we're good. Now these things don't come with covers. I actually made this cover. You see these little flat stones? You can get these at Home Depot for like, oh God, I wanna say $5, maybe $3 and some change. So these right here, I just set as covers for the waterfall spillway. I grab a couple rocks, set them on top, just like so and see how it just covers our waterfall spillway filter and makes it blend with the hardscape of the pond. So now you can see, or maybe now you can't see where the waterfall spillway is coming from. All you see is that water coming underneath that log and down into the split, which goes down into the pond. And that's pretty much it. Now this is the fun part where I show you guys the fine details on all the material that I use to build that filter, okay? Because if you're like me and you're bowling on a budget, you're gonna find this to be really useful. Let's go. Okay, so here are the items. These are the types of foam. This is a macro pour. You can see the pores are a lot bigger. And this is a micro pour. As you can see, the pores are a lot smaller. Now for this build, the micro pour, which is this one, doesn't really work as good as the macro pour because you don't really need the micro pour, which is the smaller pores, because you're already gonna use the polyfill. Now this is the polyfill that I use. It's a quilt batting, so it comes in a roll that's a long sheet, 45 inches by 60 inches. And then what I do is I take a scissors and I just cut it to the size that I want. And I use two pieces like this. It's really thin, that's why I use two pieces. There you go, you can see it right there. So I use two pieces is what I stuff down in the waterfall spillway. Three bucks at um, Walmart. Waterfall spillway is about $25. Now these sponges, you can buy this macro pore sponge for about $6 on eBay. And that's pretty much it. You're looking probably about closer to $50 with tax, maybe a little over $50 with tax. I know I said under 50 bucks, but realistically with tax and all that. So comment down below if you have any questions on the Waterfall Spillway DIY filter that I have for Tiki Falls. Really easy to make, really cost effective, and the most important thing is, is it works. So if you haven't subscribed to the Hawaiian Fish Keeper, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned because the add-on to Tiki Falls is coming up real soon, making this pond a little over a thousand gallons. Hit that like button, share this video, spread the aloha spirit, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Happy fish, happy life, much love, and aloha. I'm about to kick this guy's butt in a game of horse. Right here, him and I, we got a date. Let's go!